Wow. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? And you say this is not a great day for Kenya? That's the only one here. One, two, three, four. What Kenya has tried to do for many times, for a long time, minding the girl child, can be seen on this stage here. It's now time to worry about the boy child, not girl child anymore. <laughs> you are lazy. The Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Okello mentioned everybody. There's no way in which I can go through that. There are a few whom I can see are their familiar, but there are others whom I can't see and I wouldn't recognize. Good people, today is a great day for us. I've been given a few minutes to say something. I'm just going to talk very, very briefly about the change that has been in this institution since about half a century ago when I walked into here as a magistrate and I found a very formidable woman called Kamla Madan, the daughter of one of our chief justices, and I found a Mrs. Maini. Mrs. Maini uh, was the wife of one of the advocates, I remember. That was half a century ago. I couldn't dare come on this side because we didn't come through this side. We went through that side because this side was the Chief Justice side and the judge's entrance. It's been a long time coming. Exactly 40 years ago, I walked and I found Justice Simpson standing outside there he had already done the swearing at the State House and he was waiting for me to come in. That was a great day, exactly 40 days ago. Yeah. You understand why I feel the way I do? That I did not realize that within my 78 years, soon 78, that I would be able to come here and speak about a woman chief justice, no, 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 no. It's not going to be a woman chief justice again. And speak about my sister, who is now leading a third arm of the Kenya government. <laughs> Your ladyship, congratulations from all the women of Kenya. Those who have the mouth to speak, those who don't have the mouth to speak, I'm speaking for them, because I know from where we have come from. When I entered here, there were so many complications. As the Chief Justice mentioned, even where to go and powder my nose was a big problem. The male judges told me that I can't go to where they go to because we do everything else differently. <laughs> so I said, okay. I said, okay, I'll go to the Hilton every day to do it and then I'll come back. The Chief Justice himself had to give up his toilet to make peace between me and the male judges. It worked. That didn't stop there. Then they said, now what are we going to call her anyway? So it became a debate. And somebody was told to, to write a brief and tell us what I should be called. Others were saying I should just be called Mrs. Judge. <laughs> Others said, no, let's add on Lady Justice. Others said, no. So anyway, we had the Lady Justice put on it. But then the naughty advocates who would come to court every morning, they would say, oh, my lady. So I would say, no, I'm not your lady. I could offend somebody if you called me that. That is how far we have come from.